Assalamualaikum and hi guys This is DM025 Chapter 6 and we continue for page 17 You have learned about the basic of integration before So now let's see about Integration of trigonometry function Okay basically we only have 3 formulas First one Integration of cos fx times dx cos fx is a piece of function so you cannot separate it multiply with dx the second one is integration of sine fx times dx and the third one is integration of second squared fx dx as we know integration is an antiderivative so integration of cos fx dx is equals to sine fx and divide by you differentiate the angles f prime x for integration of sine fx dx we get negative cos fx over f prime x and the last one for integration second squared fx dx we get tangent fx over f prime x because this is integrating without limit so we have include plus c at the end of the answer C here means constant. First thing that you must know is the angles is just for linear angles. Okay, look at, at the given formula. Integration of cos x times dx. Then we will get sine x over. So differentiate x, we will get 1. Then plus c same thing with the rest okay so for integration sine x times dx then we get negative cos x over 1 and the last one is integration second squared times dx then we will get tangent x over 1 plus c all one here you get from differentiation of angle x okay let's try question one integrate with the respect of y you can see here the question used in terms of y so dy at the end of the terms mean that the variables of the integration is in y terms so the formula above remain the same but just change it into y terms okay for example for a integration of cos y dy so the answer is sine y and don't forget differentiate y with the respect of y so then we will get one then plus c so sine y plus c so you can try for b and c okay next integrate the function sine ax cos ax tangent ax so for this case you can use the basic formula given means that a here is come from you differentiate the angles ax Okay, let's see example number 2. Integrate with respect of x. A. Integration cos pi minus 2x dx. So, we will get sine. So, copy back the angles pi minus 2x over. Don't forget to differentiate the angle. So, differentiate for pi minus 2x is negative 2 and plus c oh you can rewrite as negative 1 over 2 sine pi minus 2x plus c 
Okay, why not you try for B, C, D, E, and F. Okay, but look at equation G. Integration of cos 2x times tangent 2x times dx. It includes the product of two functions. So, for this case, sometimes you need to simplify it using the trigonometry uh, properties. So, cos 2x times, for tangent 2x, you can change it into sine 2x over cos 2x times dx. So that we can cancel cos 2x. Just remain sine 2x times dx. Then we can integrate as usual. Integration sine 2x is given by negative cos 2x over differentiate 2x is 2 and plus c. Okay, so you can try for h. Okay, that's all for today. Bye.